it is the year 2022, brand new year, brand new month, brand new situations are manifesting for you. And for you, it's all about money. Jupiter, the planet of prosperity and abundance, it eases into that, it eases into one of your financial houses and it makes you more concerned about how to make money, restore your money, restructure your money, increase your money, and to invest your money. It's about money increase for you for the next few months. Things are going to be changing for you in a mighty way and there's going to be some financial opportunities. It's just going to come your way and you should really think about taking advantage of them. I am going to say for you, Leo, that your leadership role in the in uh, this year, it's the January of this year, is going to get stronger. So we know that Leos like to be in charge, but you're going to have more responsibilities to prove yourself. Okay, you want to be the boss, you're going to have a chance to be the boss. There's going to be some situations come your way and you're going to have to step out front and be seen. Be careful around the Mercury retrograde. Well, not really be careful around the Mercury retrograde, but just be aware around the Mercury retrograde because there can be something uh, surfacing around your uh, house of employment, uh, your house of work regarding a new uh, job opportunity. But you know, retrogrades are not a good time to start anything brand new. So you may want to take a look at it, consider it. And then if you really like it, do go after it after um, February the 4th of, uh, of next month. February 4th of next month. You go, you'll go after it if you're interested in it. So one thing I got to tell you, I don't know if you're going to have a GPS on your back, but your old loves are going to find you. <laughs> they are going to hunt you down and they are going to want to talk to you. So I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Well, you know, you're going to have a chance to go over some old stuff with, you know, an old love, whether you like it or not, because people are looking you out. But just be very careful because I don't know if you want to go back into the path, past, but I will say that people are going to be looking for you. And um, so I don't know if, you know, if that's going to interfere with a current love situation, but just beware that your old love situations are looking from you. And also old friends can be looking for you too. So old love relationships, old friendships, people are looking to reconnect in several ways. So what I'm going to do for you in terms of your reading, I am going to do a tarot reading for you. I have three decks of cards. So we're going to pick the first card for the month of January to see what is coming your way. And that first thing is the void. So this is actually a new moon. Oh yes, it's a new moon. So what does that mean? It means what is it that you want? Right now, the coast is clear. If there's something that you want, you have a time to really start working on it and start putting things in place for it to happen for you. It is a brand new month and a brand new year with all kinds of wonderful situations coming your way. I know instinctively, psychically, I feel as though that, that, that house, that eighth house of finances are going to be, will be empowered. Your eighth house, your house of finances will be empowered with some new opportunities just coming out of the clear blue. And it's something that you've been thinking about for a while that will start coming your way. And if you want them, jump on them because this is a great financial year for you. So our second card for you, Leo, will be for the month of January 2022 will be a broken heart. So what does that mean? That means be careful of your love situations and also... If there's something that you let go of in 2021, let it go. Don't linger about it. If someone hurt your feelings, broke your heart, there may be a reason for it. Maybe you shouldn't bring it into the new year. You should stop thinking about it. You know, or you're in a situation that you are, you are afraid that there's going to be a broken heart. I know that there's going to be a lot of people from the past trying to get after you. So I don't know if that's something that you really want to consider, but just be very careful of your love situations and be very mindful of your feelings. If somebody is constantly hurting your feelings, maybe you shouldn't be with them anyway. Way, or if somebody does not appreciate who you are or what you bring to the relationship, maybe you should get out of it in the first place. Okay. And for our third card for the month of January, here we go, is... Uh, oh, yeah, this is wonderful. So this is the solar plex, the chakra of the solar plex. That is the, the, the chakra of manifestation. What does that mean? That means what you want, you can have. You manifest it through your creativity. You manifest it through your spirit. 
You manifest it through the things that you do. You stay firm in what it is that you want. You don't let anything deter you. And certainly not allowing someone to break down your spirit, hurt your feelings, or break your heart to the point where you're broken and you cannot go after your dreams. Oh, no. We are not having that this month. So this is the month where... Things are open for you to feel. You want to feel something? Manifest it. Avoid nasty situations. If you broke up with somebody last year, don't bring it back. Maybe you should let it go. Or there needs, there needs to be a better understanding of exactly what happened, all right? Or you're thinking of breaking up with someone that, that you shouldn't be with in the first place. So be very kind to yourself. Be kind to your heart. Be kind to your spirit. And also, go ahead and start manifesting things through your creativity. This is a creative card. Your creative card is your ability to create things and bring it into fruition. And this is a wonderful month for you to have things come to fruition through your spirit. So I am going to say to you, Leo, happy first month in 2022. Happy January and be prepared for a very interesting month financially because you are going to be empowered.